Hello, beautiful people. It is I, Wonder Woman. And I have a message that I want to share with the world. I have a three-year-old baby that I breastfeed. Yes, Wonder Woman does breastfeed. And I want to share my experience, my tips, my tricks. Who run the world? Girls. Hello, beautiful people. My name is Candace, and welcome to my channel where everything's perfect, including you. Yes, so before we get started, Wonder Woman has something to say. First things first, I'm just gonna lay it out there. It is nothing wrong with breastfeeding your baby, even a three-year-old or a four-year-old baby. It is nothing wrong with that because I've heard that it's weird that maybe it's something mentally wrong with the mom. Maybe she enjoys it. These are things that I personally heard. She's too old. She has teeth now. And let me tell you something. All those things are judgments. And we as women, we need to stick together and not judge moms. You never know the position the mom is in and why they're still breastfeeding. Maybe that's the most affordable thing for the mom. Maybe she really loves it and loves bonding with the baby. And it's very stressful times out here right now. You know, so winging the baby, you have to deal with crying and stuff like that. And sometimes parents just aren't ready for that. But at the end of the day, it's none of your business. As long as that baby is well fed, well taken care of, and that the mom is a great mom, you know what I'm saying? Super mom. That's it. Us women need to stay together and stop doing that to other moms. So I just had to get that out there. You know, I had this outfit from Halloween 2020. Me and my baby were Wonder Woman and Wonder Baby. And I just had to bust it out for you guys. It was great. Now that I got that out the way, hello, everyone. If you're new to this channel, hello. My name is Candace. It is a pleasure. On Mondays, I come with all the business, health and fitness. <laughs> And throughout the week, I talk about internal beauty, exuding hourly. So that internal beauty is like self-love, manifestation, any and everything working on your inside. And external beauty is like hair, fashion, any and everything external. You know what I'm saying? In this video, I'm about to lay it all out. I'm going to give you my experience. I'm going to give you some tips and tricks. The pain level. Does it hurt to breastfeed? We're going to be talking about experience of a guy taking a picture of me. I'm just gonna give you a sneak peek of me when I was breastfeeding. And we're gonna talk about the infamous breastfeeding in public because that's like a horrible, horrible thing for moms to do. Shame on you. No shame. It's fine to breastfeed in public. You know, but we're gonna talk about all that good stuff. So let's get straight into it. So first things first is that I have two babies, a boy and a girl, and they are 12 years apart and I breastfed both of my children. My son, which is the oldest, only breastfed him for four months. I was really young and I had to go to work and stuff like that, so he had to be bottle fed. And I mean, he cried and cried and cried, but it was nothing that I could do about it and my mom had to watch him. And <laughs> she dealt with all the, you know, crying. And then my baby, she is going on three next month. Both of my babies are May babies, so they both are turning three and 15. And she's still breastfed. She's going on three and been breastfed the whole time exclusively, no bottle. So let's get straight into the pain level. So, I just want to say the most part that it does not hurt to breastfeed. You know, with my son, it didn't hurt at all. But with my daughter, the first month was like a curve. Like, it just hurt her latching on. So every time I just would cringe for her to latch on. So, I say just get a nipple cream if you experience that. But after the first month, like the rest of the dur duration of it did not hurt. And now that she is bigger, it does hurt because she has teeth. So she goes to sleep while she's breastfeeding, clamp down. That's one thing. And then the other thing that hurts with breastfeeding, this might be TMI, is that she pinches my nipples. And ladies, moms, if you have a breastfeeding baby that does this, leave down below because it is like, uh, I'm always like, stop, stop, stop. It hurts, it hurts. She pinches it, she holds it in between her hands, she pinches it, she twists it, 
Like she used to do it when she was a baby and I used to let her do it because it didn't bother me. But now that she's older and she has those toddler hands that are stronger <laughs> with nails to dig in there, I'm just like, if you don't stop. So that's the pain level of breastfeeding, just newborn. And when they're a toddler that, and another thing is that sometimes she could suck really hard. So she just be like sucking for their life. So yes, before we get started with this too, in this section, I just wanna say every baby is different. Every baby is different. Like I said, with my son, the nipple didn't hurt. And then with my daughter, it did hurt. You know, with the, so every baby is different. Every experience is different. This is just a mom to mom, my tips that I wish that someone told me. And so, nipple confusion. So when my baby was born, I did not give her a bottle. I just wanted to exclusively breastfeed because I was afraid of nipple confusion. And then I was like, I'm gonna introduce it like at one month. But when that happened, I started to introduce around two months. She refused to take the bottle and she would cry for hours. And I went to work one day a week and she would not take the bottle the whole time when I went to work. And so, she never took the bottle in that case. So my tip for moms is to, when the baby first comes out to, I don't believe that it would have nipple confused her because my sister does it, she does both. They are gonna get used to the bottle and breastfeeding. You know, this is my personal opinion. So I said, when they come out and you know you have to go to work or you wanna have a babysitter or stuff like that, give the baby the bottle from the beginning of time because you just want things to be easy peasy for you. And I wish that somebody told me that, you know, like, oh, your baby's not gonna take it a month or two from now because if I would have knew that, I would have gave it to her, you know? And so the next tip is the pacifier. <laughs> I never gave my baby a pacifier. And when she came home, she was fussy for like a good two months straight. And I'm telling you, I tried to give her pacifier. I tried to give her things. Like it was a couple of days down the line I tried to do these things. And she did not take it. So only reason why I didn't give her a pacifier because they say it's so hard to wing them off. So at that moment in time, I wish that I gave her a pacifier. But she refused to take it. So moms, if you, you know are worried about a fussy baby and stuff like that and something that could soothe them, a pacifier will not hurt, you know? But I am not upset that I did not give her the pacifier because I heard that it's a pain in the butt to wing them off the pacifier. So I kind of have like a win-lose situation. Like, okay, she was a fussy baby for two months, but I did not have to wing her off, you know, the pacifier. So I'm not upset about it, <laughs> but that's my second tip. So next, we're getting into the pros and the cons. Yes, so the first pro is that my baby never spit up. Never, not one time, you know, like babies usually every time they drink the bottle, they usually spit up afterwards. And I feel like I never had to burp her. Like she never was like crying because she needed to be burped. So sometimes I did burp her, but majority of times I did not burp her. It's like, she didn't like cry for it. It was, she didn't need to be burped. I tried to do that when she was a pussy baby, when she was first born. Nothing would make her stop crying. That's why I tried to give her the pest fire. But after that stage went through, which is another thing, I believe that she had colic. That's what the doctor said that she had. So that's probably why she was a fussy baby for the first two months. Poops. Their poops do not stink. Like legit, like for a good nine months, I wanna say that her poops were like heaven. Like now she blows it up, you know? But back then when she was like a newborn and a little baby, like her poops were amazing. Like they're like this yellowish seeded color and they don't smell, you know, they don't smell horribly. <laughs> I want to say that her health has been amazing. Like she's only been sick twice and it's because one time I know she had food poisoning. You know, it's around her birthday time and she was putting everything in her mouth. And we were around friends and family and that's how I believe she got it. But besides her getting that and she had one cold, besides that, like she is never sick. 
she's just like a healthy baby and when she does get sick like when she had the cold i want to say it took maybe like four days three or four days for her system to like push it out and then she's perfectly fine <laughs> like not no runny nose every winter and then next is that it's convenient like when you're sleeping like if you are cold sleeping like me like all you have to do is pop out a boob like legit i don't even wake up i'm just like uh, pop it out and she's there it's like it's just so convenient you don't have to worry about packing a bag because you always have the jugs on you the milk on you so it's just a win-win situation as far as packing the bag is it's just convenient like you don't have to clean bottles i never cleaned the bottle so <laughs> that was a plus you know so i love that part of it and that is a reason kind of like a reason why i'm holding on is the convenience of it because when for me, it's nighttime. Her going to sleep, that's how she goes to sleep. She breastfeeds and she goes to sleep. And so her just, she doesn't wanna to go to sleep without the breast. So that's my issue. So moms, if you have tips down below, what I should do with my friend, she told me I just gotta wing it. So that's what I'm gonna to try to do. I'm just gonna to have to deal with all the crying and you know, fighting with my almost three year old. Of like you know not wanting to give her the boob so the con is that she never took a bottle like we try we try we try we try <laughs> never took a bottle only if you exclusively breastfeed they never take a bottle that's what i that's my personal opinion she won't would not eat my baby she just really got her appetite like the last three months so she is she was like two and a half before she really started eating eating like she would take bites of stuff. She always says stuff was yucky, stuff was nasty. I don't want it, pushing everything away. So it was, it has been hard to get her to eat. She just eats like a bird. And I, you know, baby stomachs are really tiny. So they don't have to eat a lot. And then another con is that she pulls on my clothes. Like when she's ready to eat, like, she's pulling my shirt off she's trying to lift it up it's like stop you know usually when we at home and she comes up to eat i let her up to eat you know but when we're in public you have to say no so that is a con that she just wants to rip my clothes off me in public <laughs> and she can't do that <laughs> and then this one is a big deal is that she has cavities what I recently learned is she just recently went to the doctor and the milk sits on their teeth when they go to sleep and it gave her cavities, you know, her breastfeeding at night and she's been doing it for a long time. And I kind of really noticed, noticed it when she was, when her top teeth started coming in that they had the cavities on it. Like they were like little holes in their teeth. So moms look out for that. If you see like little ridges in their teeth, it's not like a color, it's nothing like a color. Cause that's what I thought a cavity looked like, that it looked like a silver dot in their mouth. It's just little ridges in their teeth. So, you know, that is definitely a big con. And luckily these teeth are not permanent and things could be way worse in life. So I'm not gonna sweat the small things in life. You know, I'm just gonna do better by <laughs> taking care of her teeth better and as well as taking her off the breast. And that's the last con, is that it's hard to wing them off the breast hard hard but that's something that i'm trying to do now so leave all the tips and all the love below because i'm going to be reading it all to see what you guys say about how i can wing this three-year-old baby off because i am ready i'm tired of her pinching my nipples and trying to pull my clothes off <laughs> you know but i love breastfeeding i do i love the bonding experience of it you know that's my thing i love the bonding but I'm over it at this point. <laughs> so next is breastfeeding in public. And I just want to say that I stand behind all moms and all mom decisions of what you want to do. This is just my personal opinion of how I feel. And it's no judgment there. It's just how I feel. I'm against like not covering up in, in public because I've seen countless of videos of men coming up to women, people are coming up to women, like harassing them in public. And does that make it right? No. 
but as women we need to protect ourselves we need to watch ourselves more out we need to keep our heads up we is so many things that we have to do as women just as a person in general and just to be safe you know i just feel like cover up and i, I saw a video about this online it wasn't about breastfeeding but i'm gonna pop it up right here so you can see it some women are really weird and lack common sense you can tell some women the simplest shit and they'll make it complicated on purpose hey christina i know you work really late at night so if you absolutely have to walk through that dark parking lot make sure you carry mace or a weapon something to protect yourself ah that's what really pisses me off don't tell me what to do i should be able to walk in a dark parking lot by myself and i shouldn't have to carry a weapon why don't you tell rapists and murderers to stop raping and murdering okay i'll tell them hey murderers yeah what's up can you by chance stop killing bitches nope no can do killing people is my thing i like to turn hoes into bitch kebabs uh okay well what about you guys can y'all stop forcibly fucking people nope i sees it i wants it i takes it well okay i think this conversation went really well it seems like everybody understands each other because she kind of talks about like the predators and stuff and us changing our mindset there's nothing we could do about them being a predator but we could do something about ourselves to not attract those predators because they see it and, and it's weird some men are attracted by it some people they like cover up because my son and stuff and my kids are around so that's the next thing that I wanted to get to is why I don't agree is because some people are not, like I said, all this is just my opinion. I support you just like anything else. We all have differences in religions and stuff like that. And so that's not me saying I don't, this is my personal reason. It's because of other kids. I think that it's a private part. It's a nipple, you know, we still need to think of that as a nipple. And so, you know, this is just an experience that I had. Like, I was in the Olive Garden, and the lady had both of her chests out in the middle of the aisle, and baby going back and forth in between the chests. And it just really, you could feel the tension was high. And I was thinking to myself, some of these kids probably never seen a nipple. Not I said there's nothing bad with it, but that is a private part. And I just think, you know, if parents don't want their kids exposed to your nipples or your private part or your anything that you feel that you want to show even if it isn't against the law i just feel like that's one thing and then another thing is like people taking pictures I'm not saying that's right but those things could happen like do you want a picture on the internet of you with your nipples hanging all out because you're in the olive garden in the middle of the aisle you know people do that does that make it right no but you have to protect yourself ladies you know that's one thing so like I said, this is my opinion. No judgment, because I love all of you moms, all of you ladies, all of you breastfeeding ladies. And so, moral of the story, protect yourself. Protect yourself. I kind of look at breastfeeding as like a, you know, cover up. I'll go to the corner of like, if I was at the Olive Garden and pull it out, if my baby's head doesn't want to be covered and maybe like have some of the head out where you, you could see it and cover the rest up and make sure that my back is turned. I wouldn't have my nipples out in the owl, you know? <laughs> and so that is that on that. But I kind of look at it as a sacred thing. Like when you go to the bathroom, you cover up, even though it's a natural function to go use the bathroom, but you go and you protect yourself, you cover up. Imagine how many creeps you would get if they could see you peeing. And that's kind of how it goes with the breastfeeding for me personally like i said do not come at me in the comment section below because i support you if you want to do it by all means do it you know but i do worry for your safety and i do worry about the kids and if they're if their parents you know don't want that because like for me you know if i have a little boy i don't want him seeing your nipples out in public you know because boys are their hormones and not saying it's right that if they do something inappropriate you know the kids or anybody that does anything inappropriate because they see your nipples out but i just that's just how i feel so with the protection thing this is the last thing that i had experience on a plane of a guy actually taking a picture of me while i was breastfeeding i was covered up and i was sitting next I was sitting in between two people and the baby was on my lap. 
And so when you fly, they say you breastfeed when you go in the air, it helps with their ears. So I was doing that and this guy was taking a picture. I knew he was cause I got eyes, but he was acting like he was taking a picture of himself, but I knew what he was doing. And so is this guy like a creepy serial killer slash, I don't know, holding people in the basement slash seri serious creep? Maybe so. Why would he do that? I don't know. If you want to hear the full story time, because it kind of gets really long and deep, tell me down below because I'll give you the goodies of what happened afterwards and what I did and the whole situation. But that's another instance because what he had did that if I wasn't breastfeeding? No, I don't believe that he would. I think it was something about me breastfeeding and maybe that turned him on or maybe he was and maybe he wasn't taking a picture for anything bad. Maybe he was going to show like, look look to his wife look she's breastfeeding in public too and be like you should do it too but just like you know how uncomfortable that makes you feel when people are taking pictures of you and you know it and you have to sit next to this person on the flight the whole time disgusted and so that's another thing and i wasn't even i didn't even have a nipple out then you know what i'm saying so imagine if that you know and so that's another thing, that's it. Just protect yourself because that was a really tra traumatizing experience for me. Yeah, so that's it, that's all about my tips, my experience of breastfeeding my baby <laughs> up to three years now. You guys, I'm trying to wing her. So give me all the advice in the world and I love you guys for that. I love you for that. And leave any questions down below because I'll be answering all questions. You know what I'm saying? So if you like this video on me and all my tips, tricks, and advice and all the goodies, hit that thumbs up button right now. Uh-huh, uh-huh, right now. Because I'm going to be coming through with all the good, good health and fitness about beauty on the inside exuding hourly you know what i'm saying so subscribe because yeah. guess what i'm gonna keep them videos coming i'm gonna keep them videos coming i'm gonna keep them videos coming yes and always remember that you are perfect you are perfectly human yes shout out to all my perfect gang Wonderful day. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.